friends today. We're gonna draw a Cinco de Mayo boy. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. It's gonna be awesome. What do we need for this lesson? A marker, some paper, and something to color with. All right, let's get started. We gotta make the noise. Oh, <laughs> that's close enough. <laughs> let's first start by drawing his eyes. We're gonna draw two circles. I'm gonna draw them about this big and with that much space in between. Yeah. Then in the top right, let's draw a smaller circle in each circle, uh, the bigger circles. Yeah, now let's color in the big circle and leave the little circle white. When we fast forward or if we go too fast, remember you can always pause the video. All right, now let's draw the mouth. We're gonna draw a little smile in between the two eyes. Then we're gonna draw the ears. We're gonna draw a C shape over here next to the left eye and a backward C over here next to the right eye. Then we're gonna draw the chin. We're gonna draw another U shape that comes underneath like this and then back up to connect both ears. Yeah. Now we're gonna draw his traditional Mexican hat or a sombrero and we're gonna draw a curve that goes over the top of his ears and his eyes. So we're gonna draw a curve that goes over like this. Yeah, and then we can connect the ears up to the hat. Now on each side, let's draw this curve out a little further on each side. Yeah, even further, even a little further, maybe come out to there and out to here. There we go, now let's draw a curve that connects down to the ear on both sides. Then we're going to draw a curve going up on each side also. So start right here and then connect up to that point, give you a little point to help. Yeah, now we're going to connect the top of each of these lines. So we're going to draw another curve that matches the first one we drew going all the way across. Yeah. Now let's draw the top of our sombrero hat. We're gonna draw a big upside down U. It goes up and then back down. <laughs> You're doing a great job, Austin. And how old are you, Austin? Seven. Seven, you could be super proud of your drawing. Even though our two drawings look different, that's okay, right? Yeah. Because the most important thing is- To have fun. Have fun and to practice. Practice. All right, let's keep going. Now we're gonna repeat some of the same steps that we did for our sombrero hat. So let's draw a design at the bottom. I'm gonna draw a zigzag line that goes all the way across. Now you guys can also add any other decorations you want to your hat. You can use your own creativity to change it. All right, now I'm gonna draw little circles in between each of those zigzags. Next, let's add some stripes to the top of our hat. I'm gonna draw a curve that matches the top edge and I'm gonna draw another one right above it and maybe let's do one more we got two stripes or three lines okay now we can add his hair I'm gonna draw a little curve that comes up or down on each side so start where his ear is right here and then curve up to his hat start next to his ear and curve up all right, Austin, we did it. We finished his head. What do we need to draw next? His body. Yeah, we need to draw his body. Let's draw two lines. We're gonna draw one on each side. So I'm gonna draw them about this length. I'm gonna draw a little longer. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Then let's draw his waist. I'm gonna start kind of closer to the bottom of these two lines and I'm gonna draw a line that goes across. Yeah, you might wanna draw these up just a little longer. There we go. <laughs> These are gonna be his legs. Now let's draw his belt. We're gonna draw another line that goes across. And then we're gonna draw an L shape over here. I'm gonna draw a line that comes down and in. Yeah, now we can draw two more lines. This is for his legs inside. One down, another one. Then we can connect those two lines on each side. Then let's add his feet, and I'm just gonna draw a little U shape on both sides. Good, now let's draw his bow tie. We're gonna draw a W, we're gonna draw a line that comes down, up, down, 
and up. Does that look like the letter W? Yes. Yeah. Now let's draw his jacket. We're gonna draw two lines coming down from his bow tie. And then you can draw those longer, maybe all the way down there because your body is a lot taller than mine. Then let's draw a diagonal line that connects to the outside. So start there and then connect. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. What's our little boy missing? His arms. His arms. Let's draw a line that comes out and then curves in at the bottom. Keep going, yeah, good. And then do the same thing on the other side, but the other direction. Then let's draw two lines on his wrist and two lines over here on his other wrist. We did it, Austin. We finished drawing our boy and he turned out super cool. Except we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color it. Color it. Color in's one of my favorite parts. Now we are gonna fast forward one last time, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yay! Yeah. Austin, great job on drawing your little boy, man. He turned out so cool, and I especially love how tall you drew him. He's way taller than mine. Yeah. You can be super proud of your drawing, buddy. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Cinco de Mayo boy. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and be sure to check out all of our other Cinco de Mayo lessons. We'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.